Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. My name is Victoria and today I'd like us to talk about something, a subject very close to my heart and that's fostering a positive self-image. Self-image is learned. It's learned from your early childhood experiences, the people around you, the environment, your neighbors, what your siblings called you. It's the stuff that you have now grown to believe over time, or it's the image that you have grown to believe. Now that image could be the real image, or it could be the distorted image of you. Here are some of the things that you might want to look at. First of all, you need to take stock of your self-image. You need to think of your strengths as a person. Write them down. Yes, it's okay. Even inquire of your friends. Man, you guys, what do you think that I'm so good at? What do I excel at? And focus on those things. Do them excellently well. And for the weaknesses, there's always someone who thrives at your weaknesses. Feel free to delegate those because there's frustration that comes with you focusing on things that are not shifting. There's stuff now. There's people who are very good with detail. There are people who are so good with children. There are people who do excellently well with numbers. That might not be you. So get people who thrive at your weaknesses and they allow you to shine in your strengths. Then as a person, you need to confront the mindset of distortion in a sense that each time you're veering off who you are, you know, there are those childhood things that people around you used to tell you. Oh, this one, this one will grow up to be a lazy child. This one, this one, they never focus on anything. They never get anything done. This one will be poor. Have you seen your background? You will all be drunkards. There are such things and such statements. And so over time, you grow up feeling small, feeling that you, you, you don't have a say, you don't have a place in society, but that stuff, you need to confront it. Each time you feel that your mind is veering off to focus on the things that are not healthy for you, you need to stop it. Remember, the idea to grow your image is to have you focus on the things that you do excellently well. Then we need to refrain from comparison. You guys, comparison is a true thief of joy. You might grow up with people thinking, well, we are the same age mates, we are in the same neighborhood, we are probably the same tribe mates, our parents grew up together. Yes, I know all those things are true, but that does not give you the authority or the ground for you to compare one's life with yours. You understand we are all in a different land. We are each running different races. Appreciate the rate at which you're running because we all have different destinations. So you will have frustrations out of comparison. So do all you can to stop yourself from comparing yourself to other people. Then develop your strengths. If you realize that you're very good at communication, you realize you're so good at sports, you're very good with analytics and details, get into communities, get into circles of people that excel extremely well at that stuff and challenge yourselves to be great people, to do amazing things. Give yourselves challenges and see that you are actually thriving at those strengths. Remember that you are unique and appreciate your story. Appreciate your own experiences. Remember that without you, we will not experience another, you know? So there's a reason as to why stuff has been happening the way it's been happening, why your life has been detailed the way it is. God is a God of detail, and he was definitely thinking about you <laughs> when he made you. He does not make mistakes. So that village where you were born, the town where you're living now, the job that you're doing now, he's mindful of it. Lastly, remember how far you have come. Remember how far you are and celebrate yourself. Celebrate your strength. Celebrate the small victories. Yes, take yourself out. Shed you that self-debt, self-care retreats. I see people do such kind of things. Shed yourself one because you are truly, truly, truly worth it. That's all I had for us today about self-image. I know that we are going to have so much fun in the comment section. Please share with me. We will be most delighted to learn from each other. But most importantly, we delight in your subscriptions. So please, if you've not subscribed yet to this channel, thank you for doing it right now because you have taken off a moment and you have just subscribed. Thank you. Thank you so much for your support, for watching endlessly and tirelessly. Until next time, you guys, I want you to actually get to action. Have one action point from everything that we share, from every vlog or um, video that we share and actually act.
aktiviert das Stuff. Ciao, ciao.